Hey kids, Mr. Glenn here. We are at the final task. And in this one, we have eight rows of foliage by 16 rows here that needs to be uh, raised. And so uh, the agent here has to uh, create something in order to uh, destroy this whole oblong, this eight by 16 oblong. So the code, let's go into the code here and see what it says. The agent needs to destroy eight blocks of foliage moving forward. Okay, we can do that. But does it need to, do, I mean, it can, it can destroy in any direction, we know this. We did this in the trash. There are 16 rows of foliage that the agent needs to destroy. Okay. The agent needs to destroy forward and move forward eight times. Okay, this is a nested loop isn't it we can understand that this is a nested loop straight away uh, it says here command foliage we, yeah there's the nested loop look this is wrong it's eight by eight it's not eight by eight it's eight and 16. So it needs to repeat it 16 times and then it needs to destroy something eight times now this is tricky so in order to this for this to work we need to go and get our whiteboard and you need to go and uh, pseudocode this let's go and get pseudocode boards uh, up on the screen i'll pause and i'll transition over let's go and transition over so here's my uh, board and get my pen uh, when we draw this foliage okay we've got agent here there uh, and uh, it's going to go through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by 16. Now, if we think about this, uh, our agent could easily just go forwards and destroy eight. What's it going to do once it's there? What's it going to do? Because you've got a choice now. You're going to have to make it turn. And are you going to make it go there for 16? Because if you are going to do that, and you're going to use those nest, nested loops like we did with the pandas, that means you're going to have to do uh, that. And once it gets here, you're going to have to move in one and keep moving in one, in one, in one, in one, until you get to a two by two. Uh, that's, that's going to mean that you're going to have these nested loops and nested loops and nested loops and nested loops and nested loops until you get to the, the, the middle. That's not going to work. Uh, or in all honesty um, so you, we have even numbers here so what I would possibly suggest is once it goes up here we know that the agent can destroy left right and forwards so the agent can destroy left right and forwards left right and forwards left right and forwards and then it gets to here it's going to, it's, it will have de deleted two rows at the same time. So it means that the agent can move over two and then it could turn if you want it to turn. But that's going to make things complicated because each time then, if you do that series of eight, you're going to have to go right, then left, then right, and then left. That makes it just as hard as the the smaller and smaller the, the smaller and smaller uh, rectangles where it's just decreasing circles you don't need to turn your agent so once the agent's down here and it's facing that way you can make the agent move and turn so that it comes through and it's facing the same way so we could just move it over and make it come down this way. Destroy, destroy, destroy. This way, destroy, destroy, destroy. This way, destroy, destroy, destroy. And so you've got this, but it's just going forwards all the time. So you can make the agent destroy backwards. You don't need to have the agent destroying forwards all the time because the agent's working backwards. So it goes forwards. It goes forwards one way and destroys forwards. Destroy forwards. That's one lot. And then another lot is it's going backwards and destroying backwards. The DBK is destroy backwards. So DFD is destroy forwards. 
and then you just need to nest it then in an 8 and then nest that in a 16 so it's going forwards move over destroy backwards destroy forwards destroy backwards destroy forwards so that you've got this constant um, destruction of an array that's one that's one solution you could easily get the agent to go and turn and then go the other way so that everything just goes through the other route so your agent then is going to go this way and then this way and this way and this way so it goes in that loop but it's always it's, you see in here you have to first of all you have to go and make it turn right and then go forwards destroy backwards turn go forwards this shape detection is wild on this board and keep going that way i mean it's the same either way you're going to have to have a nested loop of some kind either turn and 16 by 8 or 8 times 16 you can have a nested loop of 8 with 16 pieces inside or you can have 16 with 8 inside destroying all the time and moving forwards or if we have code in here while it's just while it's going through this 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 ring is it can it is it detecting something in front of it in which case destroy it this one by now you can use the pseudo code this is just guiding you we just need to go into our code now and work out uh, what we need to go and put in here because by now we should be able to go and decipher what code we can use there is no while loop so this is a total nested loop so this is either 16 by 8 or it's 8 by 16 as one suggestion or you could have as they suggest 8 by 8 and then and, and then it nested inside two lots perhaps agent there's nothing to detect is agent destroy forwards it can destroy backwards it can travel forwards it can travel backwards this one's trickier as always good luck <laughs>